Last weekend marked the 20th annual Hot Chocolate Run. The event was started by nonprofit Safe Passage in 2004, supporting survivors of domestic violence. Today, the Hot Chocolate Run stands as the area's most successful annual fundraising event, providing crucial support to Safe Passage programs and services. This year, the 5K was able to raise over $780,000. We spoke to participants and organizers to learn more about the event and its importance. This year I volunteered in the Hot Chocolate Run, but I have previously participated in it a lot. Um, I think it's a great Western Mass community running event, and I think it brings people together of all ability levels, and it shows that like you can take running seriously or not seriously and still get a lot of benefit out of it. Volunteering was really cool. Um, it was very different than running it in previous years. You know, usually I'm kind of head down, very focused at the event, and focused on running as fast as I can and placing as well as I can, but volunteering allowed me to kind of take everything in and um, really like see what the hot chocolate run has to offer and what the Western Mass running community is as a whole. My parents like invented the hot chocolate run, so I've always been doing it for like my entire life. I really like the organization that like we fundraise for and stuff like that. It brings everyone together like during the race. So many people do it, like 6,000 people do it, and it's a great fundraiser. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to support Safe Passage, visit their website at safepass.org and make sure to run in the hot chocolate run next year. The Hot Chocolate Run got started 20 years ago. Um, the agency at the time faced a sudden unexpected funding cut from the Par Department of Children and Families. And in response to that, the board ne knew that they needed to raise some money in order to, at the time, um, save the children's program. At this point, the Hot Chocolate Run's income is really embedded across the organization. There's not one program that doesn't benefit in some way um, from the hot chocolate run proceeds. It allows us to do the things that government contracts won't um, support, like um, prevention, um, you know, direct support to survivors if they need that. The website is full of um, information, some statistics, some ways that people can get involved throughout the year and some activities that people can do virtually to actually increase their awareness. And then at the event, we have a group of volunteers called the Sticker Patrol that um, basically hands out stickers for people to wear um, that states for them why they're, why they're walking, why they're running. And we hope that that also starts a, a conversation about why it's important to think about the needs of children um, who've been exposed to domestic violence. How can you get involved in prevention? So it's the, we try to have that vibe available as part of the event. Our speakers generally talk about, you know, what this community means and connecting it to the issues of domestic violence. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to support Safe Passage, visit their website at safepass.org and make sure to run in the hot chocolate run next year.